My name is Sam White, and uh, I want to take this time to like talk through the process of me doing these uh, environment like concept thingies. Um, so this is just going to be off the top, just talking about some random process and stuff. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't go into in depth on like how I first started this process because some of the footage was lost. Um, but Essentially, I started out with a very basic 3D prop, and from there, I took that 3D prop and started to design some, some like, cauldrons for it. Um, the general idea for this whole thing was that it would be a, a kind of cult-type design um, with some general, like, off-putting vibes. Um, and I was going from the, the sketch that you can see in this top left-hand corner that I originally did. So from there I went to make something that seemed off-putting but inviting at the same time. Like how, like when I think of like what a cult is, it's something that's, it, it's usually got some, some bad connotations with it, but at the same time it has to be appealing to draw people in. Um, so I was leaning more towards like temple type designs. Um, and then later on you'll see uh, at some point while I was doing these facades, I came up with this idea of, well what if this temple was kind of dedicated to like the sea um, and it's, its major themes were sea related and I was like okay well how can we implement this into the design um, one of the one of the things I started to come up with was maybe as the tides roll in for these high tides for like the spring tides etc um, this would uh, maybe this this cult would have rituals where they would sacrifice people to the to the sea gods to make them less angry for uh, whatever reasons, because I think the fucking sea gods getting angry at them or something, when in reality it's just fucking rising tides or some shit. Um, but that was the whole idea of, like, how can we put this into the design? Um, so I started to implement things like uh, certain, like, um, curvy parts later in this uh, to indicate, like, more moon designs. But I ran into this problem where, as I was doing this and making the temples seem more curved and relaxed in terms of their designs, it stopped looking like a temple and started looking more like a palace or something. Um, this is at the point in the video where I start to kind of think about this stuff. But, like, in reality, you want to go into these things with a few major ideas. Um, as I was doing this, I started coming up with new ideas and I start to shift around the design. Um, but you want to go in with a, a major plan. What are you going to do? What is the purpose of this, this concept? Um, some key things you should be thinking about is, for the concept, what is its purpose? Is this something that's more intricate and, and well-designed? Is it like a palace? Is it a temple? What is its major purpose as a building? And then you can go into a little littler things like, well, if this is a building that... Um, that was designed for temple purposes, like what materials would be used for it? Because in a lot of these temples, usually, you have like a very simplified um, way of looking at it, where they're, they're very stone structured, they're cold, they're rigid, they're stable. They have a lot of square shapes going on into it. Um, so it, it's a, a lot about that stability and rigidness that happens with the, with the temple facade. So a, a thing that I was told a while back when I went to take some classes on like entertainment design and stuff is when you're when you're designing something, you want to go into it with the main silhouette. So let's say you're designing a um, let's say you're designing a cauldron, right? So when you're designing a cauldron, you want to have something main in mind for the silhouette. When you think of a, a cauldron, what do you think of? Well, it's usually got the bowl, it's usually got a pedestal type base, and then it, for, for the most part, tapers off. So then you want to play with those shape setups. So for the cauldron, you got the cauldron bowl, that would be like the main, the main shape. And then you usually have the, the little, little pedestal part. So how can you play with these main elements to make something new and unique? What if you had the, the cauldron higher up and then the, 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 the base? Like, what if it was longer and tapered? Would it still look like a cauldron if, if you played with the way that you set up these shapes? Um, so, yeah. Um, 
let's see. Uh, a big thing that I was trying to do is how can I make each of these new and unique? Um, a big thing was playing around with different ideas and how I can make these facades different and unique. Um, and then later on I get into, well, how can I, how can I push this as a, as an overall form into something that matches my current setup that I'm going for. Uh, I think a big thing you want to keep in mind when you're doing these like concept things is what is my overall goal? Um, and like go down to like these keywords and what are you trying to convey with the images? Um, and what overall story will this lead to? When I was first doing some of the earlier designs with the cauldron and the basic f facades or the basic pillars, I was going into a lot of this, this I guess idea of just a basic temple. There was like really no thing that like I was pushing it with. Um, and I had no real story other than this is just a temple. This is just for me to like play around with what a temple would look like. Um, and at this point I'm getting into changing that whole idea and like developing the story. I really like the idea of the tides rolling up, this gate, this gate entrance essentially being like a way for, for people to do sacrifices for the temple. And also maybe people could like use their boats and take their boats into this cathedral or something. Um, at this point, you saw me looking up videos of of tides because I was trying to think: Would I be able? Would this work if if it was like a somewhat fantasy world, but somewhat grounded? Um, would it work with the tides rolling up to a certain level? How far would they roll up? Would this be something that could make sense considering how big this this thing is? Um, and to some extent. Yes, probably. Uh, it's a little weird on like how this giant structure would be made so close to the tides. Like, why would they do that unless there was some sort of tidal change and stuff got closer to this edge? Um, but for the most part, the idea works. Um, but as I was developing this and like coming up with the new ideas, I was I was fixing the story that I already had. So my original story was. What if it's just some cult temple and it's just some people trying to escape on the boat? Like in the earlier sketches you could see of that, that, that painting sketch that I did a while back ago, that was over can, it was over just this basic premise, um, excuse me, of, of someone escaping some cult-like thing because it needed some sort of story element and the, what I had was just a fucking dumb temple. So after that, I played around with the idea of of this sacrifice thing. Um, and this is where I get into the problem of while adding these curvy elements to the, the temple design, it's it stops becoming a... It stops becoming something that would look like a temple and looks more like a palace. Um, the thing that I started to like come up with is if I'm gonna do these curvy elements it's gonna have to be something simple where the curve is coming from um, not the actual overall shape of the image so on these like top two ones on this image and even this bottom one um, that's currently shaded the the giant pillar one these feel like temple entrances or temple fa facades but as soon as I start to add these curvy elements with the dome top and all that stuff it stopped feeling like a temple. Um, so the idea that I have now is that instead of having um, the, the temple design be influenced by that general shape language, is what if instead this shape language is portrayed in the way we put the paneling or what's going into the design itself instead of the overall shape of the design. So instead of we're gonna make this temple have curvy elements. Um, we're gonna limit that and keep it that basic silhouette of a temple facade. Because when I look at temples, I usually see very stable objects. That's why I feel like a temple looks like it's stable. Um, it doesn't feel elegant, except in the ways that there's usually there's usually pillars and um, statues in in the pillars and stuff like that. 
all the detail that goes into a temple from what I've seen usually comes up with the way that it's detailed in in the overall design with the little with the extra detailings so what I ended up doing is for the future stuff when I get into the painting I'm probably gonna do one more page of these where I'm just coming up with little intricate designs that will go on to um, the sides of these buildings um, but yeah I think the only one that works currently with the curvy language is the very bottom left one the one where it's just got these elegant sloops to the side but the overall thing is still solid everything else it these curved elements don't feel um, they don't feel right with the silhouette and I was struggling a lot with this because I wanted to play with that idea of of this moon shape so the full moon the crescent moon the half moon I wanted to play with these ideas in in the overall design um, since it's a, a temple to like the water gods or whatever um, but it, it just didn't work um, so this went faster than expected I think I'm <laughs> I think I already talked for 11 minutes and I just rambled um, I think I went over all the main points that I wanted to get to. Uh, if you have any questions on this, please let me know. I'll try and get back to you and answer as best as I can. Um, thank you for hanging out. Thank you for my Patreon supporters. If you're supporting me on Patreon, it really helps me out. Um, I love you guys, uh, and I'll talk to you in a bit. All right, peace.